Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Wednesday devotional from the South Freeport Congregational Church on this, the first day of September. It's hard to believe that summer is already coming to a close, and as we are in the busyness of finishing up with summer vacations, maybe we're getting our children ready to go back to school. Wherever you are in this moment in the day, I invite you to take a moment of pause to be still, even if just for five minutes. And in doing so, I invite you to just take a deep breath with me and let it out and just invite the presence of God, the Spirit, to be with you and all around you in this moment as we gather. Well, it seems like a distant memory now, but just a little less than two weeks ago, we were all watching the news, we were watching the weather closely, a little bit anxious about Hurricane Henri that was making its way up the Atlantic coast. Part of that worry came because Maine was in the direct path of the storm. Well, while we were able to relax a little bit when the storm took a different path and did not impact us hardly at all, there were others that were impacted with significant flooding down in New York and New Jersey. Last week, I, I myself was very anxious because I was supposed to fly out, and I ultimately did fly out, going down to New York and New Jersey on business, and everything went well, and now here we are today, and everything is good, and the trip was great. Well, this weekend, we watched as Hurricane Ida slammed into Louisiana with great devastation and more devastation as it moved inland. And so we can now see on the news the physical destruction and the thousands of lives that have been impacted and perhaps will be impacted for weeks to come. The storms that we have just had, and I'm sure there will be other hurricanes that develop throughout this hurricane season, they reminded me of the time when Jesus walked on the water. If you remember, after the feeding of the 5,000 with the loaves and fishes, Jesus sent the disciples ahead of him. While they were on the boat out on the sea, the winds came and the boat was tossed back and forth, and the disciples were very afraid. They then looked out across the water and saw an image coming toward them. They were very afraid, and they thought that it was a ghost. And then, as Jesus approached walking on the water, he called out to them and said, Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Physical storms, they can be quite scary, and they can be physically destructive. But so too can the emotional storms that come into all of our lives at some point. All around us, every day, in and out, we are meeting people, passing people, talking with people, who are facing all kinds of emotional storms. Perhaps one of you that is watching right now is in that very boat, like the disciples, being tossed about by the winds of challenge that are coming into your life. When I was a teenager growing up in rural Alabama, I had a best friend who used to sing in church on Sunday mornings. She had the most beautiful voice, and her name was Kim. One of her favorite songs that she used to sing of mine was Master of the Wind. Part of the lyrics go like this. My boat of life sails on a troubled sea whenever there's a wind in my sail. But I have a friend who watches over me when the breeze turns into a gale. I know the master of the wind. I know the maker of the rain. He can calm the storm and make the sun shine again. I know the master of the wind. In the midst of the storms of our life, remember that we do not walk through them alone. Our faith and our belief in the abiding presence of God has the ability to calm those storms and to help navigate us through them, whatever they may be. When those storms come, remember Jesus who called out to the disciples and said, Take courage, do not be afraid. The same Jesus who called out to the disciples also calls out to you and me. Do not be afraid. Let us now be in a moment of prayer. Oh, holy God, how thankful we are for your presence, that no matter the storms of the life that we encounter, thank you that you are there in the midst. May we be calmed by your presence. May we navigate the challenges of life as they come to us. And for anyone who is facing a storm right now, it is my prayer that you will comfort they will know your peace, that they will know that you are with each one of them. 
Amen. Blessings on your day, on the remainder of the week. Until we meet again, God bless you and amen.